Governor, one of the best ways to protect open space is not to build on it. We've seen some big projects in the past year at the Citizens Bank Park and potentially the Burrowville Power Plant go forward on um, you know, native forest areas. Is there something you might be doing in the future to sort of protect these spaces so these big projects aren't directed yeah. towards these areas? You know, it's always a balance. It's always a balance between maintaining open space but also having a vibrant economy and creating jobs and opportunity for the people of Rhode Island. Uh, and I am a supporter, you know, it was my initiative to put the open space on in the budget and on the ballot and we're going to do everything we can to protect wetlands, to protect our bay, to keep our bay clean, to protect parks and bikes and bike paths. Uh, but at the same time, people need jobs and our economy is still not where I'd like to see it. So, you know, we need to promote development uh, so that people can have good jobs but also quality of place. And I think that we are striking that balance. And you still support the power plant even where the proceedings are at this you point? You know, as I've said, I'm working on particular projects. There's a process underway, uh, which I have an arm's length from. They're going to do their work. If they find that it is unsafe or environmentally uh, problematic, then I expect that they won't allow it, and I'll respect that decision.